This video is for IESA clients and will guide you through setting up SLAMN 2.0 for a Scholastic Bowl match. At various points in the video, I'll point out new 2.0 features for those of you who have used our earlier version. When you launch the program, you're shown a dialog box with three choices in it. You can open an official competition format, you can open something you've previously saved, or you can do it yourself or start from scratch. Please don't start from scratch unless you have to. We've already created the official format that you will need for Scholastic Bowl. This format has all of SLAMN's options set to play Scholastic Bowl, so all you have to do is add team and player names and then click play. When you load the IESA format, you're taken to our main setup page. There you see that we're ready to play a two-team match, and each team has five players. Keep in mind, though, that SLAMN can accommodate up to 10 teams with one to five players per team. To enter team and player names, as well as customize ring in and other sounds, click the team player name and sound setup button here. On the teams tab, enter the team's names. For team one, I'll enter my team, and for the other team, I'll enter the name other team. So I simply place the cursor here, and enter my team's name. Then I click the tab button and here I'll enter other team as my opponent's name. By default, SLAMN will play this sound when my team rings in. Team 1. And this sound when my opponent rings in. Team 2. In a separate video, we show you how to record your own sounds and use them within SLAMN. After you've entered the team's names, click the players tab. Here's where you can enter your player roster. Unlike our earlier version, SLAMN 2.0 can hold up to 15 names. And instead of having to type them in when you want to make a player substitution during the match, you enter all of them in advance and then just choose them from a drop down when needed. That saves a lot of time during matches. I'm going to enter six names for each team so that I can show you later how easy it is to do a player substitution. For team one, I'll enter Julie. Fred, Melanie, Jeff, Neva, and Jamie. Then for Team 2, click the Team 2 tab. Here I'm going to enter Sally, Mike, Irene, Matt, Rob, and Tom. Another 2.0 feature is the ability to associate custom announcement sounds for players just like you can for teams. This means that SLAMN can do team and player spotting for you automatically so that, for example, SLAMN might say, Barrington, Jeff, when Jeff rings in for his school. You'll never call on the wrong player again and you won't always need another person to help you run a match. Again, we show you in a separate video how easy it is to record your own sounds and use them in SLAMN. Notice at the top of the screen that there are three sound checkboxes, and we've checked two of them, team-specific and player-specific sounds. If you want to do your own verbal spotting, just uncheck these, and SLAMN won't make a sound when players ring in. In that case, though, you might want to at least turn on a standard or generic sound when either team rings in, which you can do by clicking the checkbox next to standard whose setting is on the Other Sounds tab. Our standard ring-in sound is a doorbell. But you can customize this sound and all the other sounds in SLAMN the same way as you change team and player announcements. Click OK to close the Team Player Name and Sounds Setup window. And on our main setup screen, you'll see that SLAMN has filled in your team names and player names for this match. Use the drop downs to put players in the right order if you need to. If you want to reuse these settings for future matches, change the name of the match to something more meaningful to you when you do that here. For example, I'm going to name this settings file My IESA Settings. Then I'm going to click the Save button. 
The next time I run slam in, I can just choose this file that's already customized for my needs. That means I only need to enter my roster once per season. To demonstrate that, let's close slam in and then relaunch it. But this time on the opening dialog box, we'll choose open something you previously saved. And there's our saved format ready to reuse. Don't forget that you can play a slam in match against other slam in users over the internet. It's easy and we describe how to do that on our website. You can even broadcast matches over the internet so that friends and family can tune in and both watch and hear your matches from home or work. These are both topics for a separate video. Thank you for reviewing this tutorial on setting up slam in for IESA Scholastic Bowl. To continue your slam in for IESA orientation, watch the companion video about operating slam in for IESA Scholastic Bowl.